Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now for the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Researchers from UCL Archaeology Southeast have found some of the largest early prehistoric stone tools ever discovered in Britain, including enormous foot-long hand axes. In total, 800 stone artefacts have been uncovered from a dig in Kent. The objects were found buried in material that filled a sinkhole and also an ancient river channel, and they are more than 300,000 years old. The finds include two giant flint hand axes, and these are thought to have been held in the hand to butcher animals and cut meat. As you can see, the axes have a very distinctive shape, long and finely worked, with a pointed tip and thicker base to hold on to. Letty Ingray, a senior archaeologist at the UCL Institute of Archaeology, said, quote, We describe these tools as giants when they're over 22 centimetres long, and we have two in this size range. The biggest, a colossal 29.5 centimetres in length, is one of the longest ever found in Britain. She continued, Giant hand axes like this are usually found in the Thames and Medway regions and date from over 300,000 years ago. These hand axes are so big, it's difficult to imagine how they could have been easily held and used. Perhaps they fulfilled a less practical and more symbolic function than other tools, a clear demonstration of strength and skill. While right now we aren't sure why such large tools were being made, or which species of early human were making them, this site offers a chance to answer these exciting questions. End quote. And it really is an exciting find. 300,000 years ago is such an incomprehensible date. I don't often think, what were the ancient Britons doing 296,000 years before Stonehenge? It's so long ago it doesn't even come into my mind, and it's really quite amazing we have evidence for such archaic human activity in Britain. At the time, Neanderthal people and their culture was emerging, and they could well have shared the landscape with other early human species. Maybe these are Neanderthal tools. The area under excavation in Kent is a hillside above the Medway Valley, which is made up of deep Ice Age sediments. 300,000 years ago, it was a wild landscape of wooded hills and river valleys. There would have been red deer and wild horses roaming, as well as the now extinct straight tusk elephants and lions. This isn't the first time we've come across such ancient stone axes in Britain, but it is the first time they've been found in a large-scale excavation, i.e. in context. It gives archaeologists the chance to study how an entire Ice Age landscape developed, and how human activity fits into it. The objects and all the archaeological finds will now undergo rigorous scientific analysis by various specialists in the UK. They want to understand what humans were doing in the landscape, how the stone artefacts may have been used, how they helped humans adapt to the challenges of the Ice Age, and so on. The same team of researchers have also uncovered a Roman cemetery at the site, maybe dating to between the 1st and 4th centuries AD. The remains of 25 individuals have been found, 13 of them cremated, and the buried bodies had a variety of personal items with them, including bracelets. Four of the bodies each had a wooden coffin. For those that want to know more about the Ice Age finds, I've put a link to the brilliant Sketchfab website in the description, because a fantastic 3D interactive model of one of the hand axes has been uploaded. It is an amazing object, and it almost looks animal-like, with two dark eyes and a long beak. But maybe that's my mind playing tricks. I've also left a link to the full research article, which can be downloaded free of charge as a PDF. I was interested to see the map of the actual location being so close to where people live, and who knows what this entire housing estate is built on. You can take a look at the landscape yourself on Google Earth, and I've left the coordinates in the description below. I've just revived my old channel called Space and Planet, 
where I'll be making regular content looking at Earth and space science news and research. If you're interested in any of these subjects, please do subscribe to the channel, as I've got some fantastic ideas for new content in the coming months. I've left a link in the comments, and it's also in the description below. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.